Gridout is one of the most popular game engines nowadays and its influence takes off more and more. So today I'll be showing you 5 games made with Gridout to influence your game dev journey. Now let's start. Engine Roar is a hardcore race for survival on rusty post-apocalyptic wastelands under the noisy roar of engines in pixel 3D styling. Six cars during the race to pass the championship or a fast race. Cars with customization, different controls, body damage and explosions from damage. More than 20 tracks with the possibility of changing day and night, a choice of different weather conditions, as well as guns as and other attacking obstacles. Immerse yourself in nature as a sentient seed in this relaxing award-winning 2D puzzle platformer. Set in the tranquil backdrop of the New Zealand's native forest using real photos and videos. As the seed, all you can do is roll about. However, this seed acts like a virus looking for a host and spread across the forest. Each type of host can do something different such a jump or crawl along walls. All of them can spit you out though and you trigger this like a 2D old school gold game. Almost all the puzzles in seedlings follow the same idea. Find the host, move them into position and shoot them and shoot the seed to the next area. As the game progresses, more hosts platforms or movable platforming elements are added, but the puzzle idea remains the same. MS Salmon is an interactive 2D movie combined with a mix of rail shooter, point and click, puzzle and quick time events. This game also combines the genre dramedy and horror. MS Salmon takes place in an anthropomorphic world in the late 1920s where our protagonists, Ranieri, a fox, and then a penguin detective, have to solve a murder case on a luxury ship called MS Salmon. While the duo collect the evidences on the ship, they aren't only coming closer to the truth of the case, but also lighting up their own dark past. Experience a nile biting story in an anthropomorphic world centered around mystery and detective work with the return of interactive 2D animated movies and influence the course through multiple choice. Dive into ripping dialogues, question witnesses and suspects, interact with your surroundings and gather evidence to find the killer. The clock is ticking, Ben has only 22 hours before the ship docks and the killer escapes. Are you ready to put your skills to the test and solve the mystery of the murder? Legendary Pilots is an indie flight simulator that doesn't pretend to be the most realistic flying game ever, but rather it is a fun, stylized game centered on the pilot's career. It is being developed by someone who truly loves aviation. Unlike in any other flying game, the user experiences many other aspects of the flight, like dealing with routes and passengers and buying and fixing their own plane in an immersive world. You will be delighted by its pixelated style and don't worry about it being difficult as everything is simplified thanks to the simplified navigation system and manageable crew. Of Blades and Trails is a turn-based RPG that is action-oriented but rewards a thoughtful approach. Discover a fantastic land populated by different animal trips. You play Rake, a clever member of the tribe of foxes. A chain of unfortunate events involves you in a quest of vital importance to all the peace-loving creatures of the realm. You will have to leave your own home village and explore the world to become strong enough to stand up to evil. It is inspired by classic hack and slays like Diablo and turn-based RPGs like Stone Shard. However, there is no permadeath in this game, it aims to be an accessible and entertaining action RPG. So these are definitely 5 video games that can really influence your game dev journey. All of them are outstanding but I'd like you to comment which one is your favorite in the comments down below. I hope you liked this video and if so consider subscribing and liking for similar content. Keep creating, keep using good out and see you in the next one, bye bye.